dealt with here. You know, I mean, I, I, brought, I watched Joe Milton, obviously, the sound very surprised, you know, very minimally. Last year, I saw watched him in preseason camp. I remember leaving Ann Arbor last year, and Jerry and Howard and I were talking on the bus, and we said, they have three guys who can play. Like, they got a really good quarterback situation there with, obviously, we knew Patterson, and McCaffrey looked good, and, and Joe Milton as well. So, I mean, I like Joe Milton, certainly physically looks the part, but, but I just think it's really hard when you have no non-conference games, you don't have a chance to work a guy into a spot, and you open with a team I think is really good in Minnesota with a lot of veteran pieces coming back. So, you know, I, I mean, were Michigan to have a good year, it would be a surprise. Uh, I mean, not, you know, I mean, I think we'll be over 500 and whatever, in the mix or whatever, but were they to win the division, it would be a surprise. Uh, kind of by definition, and I don't know, I, I just don't really see it. I mean, as a team that lost four players to the NFL draft than any other team in the country other than LSU, now Ohio State lost the same number, but, but still, it just feels like you go from nine and four, you lose ten guys to the draft, and you get better, replacing a quarterback, replacing a ton on both sides of the ball. I don't know, I don't see it, but again, I didn't get the same thing. So, so maybe it maybe will be a surprise. And, and quickly, the other t- Michigan State, Mel Tucker, first year. It looks like Lombardi is going to start a quarterback, but to me, he gets a pretty much a complete free pass as long as they can win at least two or three games. Yeah, I think so too. I think particularly for new coaches this year, I think there are kind of two categories of coaches that, that do get the pass. I think it's guys on the hot seat probably do. Um, I mean, unless your seat is just roasting hot. I don't think I'd have quite a director to read too much into this year. And then first-year coaches. Yeah, I mean, in a weird sort of way, you know, you, no one loses eligibility this year. Remember that, right? You can play anybody for as long as you want to play them, and this year doesn't count. So you can really experiment with what you've got. You can get young players' experience. I like the fact that, you know, at Michigan State, they kept a lot of the same defensive staff from the Antonio era that Harlan Barnett came back. Ron Burton and Mike Tressel are there. I think they'll have a good defense. I think the issue, as it's been for years now, is can they turn things around on, on offense? And again, I, I'm with you. I, I think that Mel Tucker takes a little bit of a pass. Let's see if they can win a, you know, a few games here. I think opening up with Rutgers is, is really good. Maybe you can build a little bit of confidence because they're in the same boat. And they start from a much worse spot than you do in terms of personnel. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Dave, uh, thank you very much as always. And thanks for sharing that uh, Northwestern Magazine alumni deal on, on Twitter with a tribute to our boy Jamie. It's definitely weird having you on without him around, and we miss him greatly. And uh, John's going to do a, has done a really good job uh, as, as the new guy, but uh, we miss your buddy. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's still sucks, obviously. Yeah, no, I, I miss him so much too, Stoney. And I was saying to my wife as I was preparing to come up here and go on with you guys. What a heavy heart I have. And again, I'm, I'm thrilled for John. He and I have exchanged uh, some messages here. And I'm so happy for you, John, because I know this is an amazing opportunity. And I know you'll hit it out of the park. But I'm crushed. You know, we're working on different ways to try to remember yeah. Jamie uh, among my friends. And uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that with you as we go forward here, Stoney. Okay. But, um, yeah, please do. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Dave. Have a uh, good, good show tomorrow and good season. All right. Take care, guys. All right. That's uh, Dave Repson, the main man. Big 10 Network, 97.1. A great place to uh, watch Big 10 football. If you're on vacation, it's Las Vegas. That's right. Uh, and here's what you got to do. you got to go to D.com and book the room. Go to the D. Las Vegas. It's a lot of fun. Hang out at the Long Bar. Derek Stevens is there. He's the owner. Tell me, Sanchi, just might get you a cocktail. they got all the big screens there. we got a brand new sports book. It's awesome there. And, of course, they do all the great things. Social distancing is there. Uh, they want everybody to be safe, as always. Uh, if you want some good food, they'll take care of you as well. Joe Vicari's Aviambo Italian Steakhouse right there at the D. And uh, also, you know, it looks a little more casual. You know, we have a few too many cocktails. I think that ever happens in Vegas. You know, day before bed, you know, you know, it's 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Oh, you know, I got a, an American Pony Island. It tastes real good at 4 o'clock in the morning. Trust me. Uh, also, uh, if you want to golf in Vegas, they got the they get the people to hook you up with all the great uh, courses. So, book a tee time today uh, by calling them, or I should say, go online the d.com. That's right, the d.com. D Las Vegas, your home for Detroit sports in Las Vegas. Ninety-seven won the ticket, and CBS Sports Radio twelve seventy, your home.
Rams for the NFL on Westwood One. The Los Angeles Rams host the Chicago Bears. Monday Night Football. Pre-game at 7.30 on 97.1 The Ticket. This is for the men who never settle. The ones who believe only quivers end a game at a time. The type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs and overcompensate for theirs at home. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks is taking peak precautions to ensure the safety of our guests and team members. Twin Peaks offers contactless menu options, open air seating, and regularly performs comprehensive cleaning and sanitization processes to ensure that everyone's health and safety remains our top priority. Come see us. This is an important election announcement. Early voting is now open in Michigan. Go to IWillVote.com to find your early voting location. There are two convenient ways to vote early, by mail or in person. You can choose the one that works around your schedule. Go to IWillVote.com today. Paid for by the Democratic National Committee, Democrats.org, not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. The Democratic National Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. I'm going to guide you through a relaxing talk about cold and flu season. Even though this year is stressful, you're going to feel calm. Because at Rite Aid, our pharmacists are educated in traditional medicine and alternative remedies. So you not only get a flu shot, you also learn how to support your immune system. And rest assured, you're doing your best to protect your health and wellness. Get your flu shot and boost your immune system at Rite Aid today. No cost with most insurance. No appointment needed. Vaccines will supplies. Lab safe restrictions apply in some states. See pharmacists for details. It's time to think Ford first. Right now, current AZ plan trade and customers can lease a 2020 Ford Fusion SE for $149 a month for 24 months with $2,049 due in signing. The Fusion comes standard with Ford Copilot 360, which includes features like rear view camera, twist blind spot information system, and pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. Payment includes wage security deposit, excludes title, taxes, and license fees. Not all lessees will qualify for Ford Credit Red Carpet Low Mileage Lease. Vehicle must have arrived at dealer at least 61 days prior to the sale date. Payment includes RCL bonus cash, select inventory RCL cash, trade assist, and renewal cash. Take new retail delivery from dealer stock by November 3rd. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. Some exclusions may apply. So lease a 2020 Ford Fusion for $149 a month for 24 months. Only at your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. Think Ford first. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Of course we can help you with that oil change. Doing it yourself is a great way to save some money. Right now you can get five quarts of Pins Oil High Mileage Motor Oil and an STP oil filter for just $27.99. And we've got even more ways to get it. Just order online with our next day delivery or free same day store pickup. Getting the job done just got easier. Restrictions at AutoZone.com. T-Mobile for Business knows saving time and money is important for your business. That's why we're introducing Microsoft 365 on us, now included in our best business plans. With Office apps, Microsoft Teams, cloud storage, and more, Microsoft 365 on us gives you the tools you need to run your business. Stop by a T-Mobile store today. Qualifying plan required. Contact us to activate one license per line, next two per account. Third-party terms apply. See T-Mobile.com for plan details. At Shell, we know from the time you get up to the time you wrap up, there's a lot of meetups, eatups, and hurryups. So come to Shell and get three things done at once. Fill up with Shell V Power Nitro Plus to help keep your engine running like new. Save up with the Fuel Rewards Program and never pay full price for gas again. And snack up with in-store rewards to save even more at the pump. Make the most of the stock you need to make with Shell. And engines that can still use Shell V Power Nitro Plus Premium Gas. See full terms and conditions at FuelRewards.com. I feel like I'm being haunted by a pair of headphones. Everywhere I go is a creepy ad for headphones I looked at one time. I hate feeling like I'm being watched. I downloaded DuckDuckGo and saw a difference right away. Take back your privacy with DuckDuckGo. 97.1 The Ticket. Traffic. From the WWJ AM 950 Traffic Center, this report brought to you by Mastercraft Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. For same-day service of your furnace or plumbing, call Mastercraft Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. 37 years in the business, A-plus Better Business Bureau rating. Mastercraft Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. 800-924-2123. Mastercrafthheating.com. We're still seeing accident-free roads for your morning drive.
traffic clear on 696 in both directions between 94 and 75, on 75 between West Road and North Line, and on 94 between Southfield Freeway and 275. I'm Julia Deal in the WWJ 24-Hour Traffic Center. Now, text or call the ticket using the same number. Ticket text 248-539-9797. Excuse me, Thursday night football, the Philadelphia Eagles taking over temporarily first place in the NFC East. They've played one more game in Dallas with a miraculous 22-21 game over the New York Giants. Uh, Carson Wentz to Boston Scott with a touchdown late to win the game. Wentz was actually pretty good for the most part when he wasn't in the red zone. The red zone up. Uh, 25 of 43, 369 yards, two TDs, one pick. Daniel Jones was okay, 20 for 30, 187 yards, but he did have the blooper of the year so far. He got tackled by the turf monster with an 80 yard touchdown. It was incredible. And by the way, uh, before we get to Heather, for those uh, Lion fans who uh, always like to search for former players, uh, Travis Fulgham continued his uh, excellent play. Five receptions, 73 yards. And wow, the Lions' fifth round pick, Jason Huntley, the Eagles, two carries for 13 yards. <laughs> Not too bad. Yes, don't be that thing you're talking about is you. I know. <laughs> Golden take, by the way. I want to know if anybody else out there in Detroit looked up uh, Huntley and Fulgham's stats before Stoney just told me that. Well, I looked up Fulgham. Yes. Yeah. But not both. But not both. Uh, no. I didn't realize Huntley was playing. I watched the game and said, oh, because he fumbled and picked up a, uh, a kick. Anyway, enough of that garbage. Uh, game three of the World Series is tonight. Mm -hmm. First, here's Heather. Uh, boys, a holiday tradition that has been around for nearly 160 years is coming to an end this year, all because of COVID. So, so sad. I know. More than a quarter of a million people come to see Santa at Macy's in New York each year. But this year, kids are just going to have to, you know, actually hand write their Christmas list and send it off to the big man himself because he's not going to be there. And he's not going to be at Macy's in Chicago or in San Francisco either. Instead, they are going to be offering a free online experience with Santa where you can actually go and play some games, take a tour of his workshop, and then take a selfie with him as well. They do say he is still going to appear at the end of their televised Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. By the way, there's a good chance in a couple of years Santa's going to outlive Macy's. Because we're seeing a lot of stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh -huh. uh, so does that mean I can zoom in Santa uh, like straight to the North Pole? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. But and There's I, nothing sweeter than uh, seeing you in person. Yeah, really, to be honest. Yeah, I think the Zoom request would probably be better because we know the postal service is <laughs> slower these days. It's, it's, it's been overloaded. Yes, yes. Um, so, you know, it's disappointing. I mean, there, we talked about it earlier this year, how some um, malls or, you know, event areas are trying to figure out safe ways to have Santa. They Some were talking about maybe putting him in inside a snow globe so he's basically in his own bubble or, you know, having that plastic barrier, which would be really weird. But either way, it doesn't sound like anywhere kids, you know, are really going to be able to go sit on Santa's lap. Unless, of course, you have Santa at your own private event, then, of course, uh, mm -hmm. that can happen. Macy's also said that Hanukkah Harry will be there. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can't expose Santa to COVID. No, he's very high risk. He, he's old and he's fat. So no. he's got two big things. you got to look out for Santa, <laughs> for sure. I mean, that would be awful if Santa got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about all the kids will be so disappointed? Oh, presents? I know. Yeah.
this spring will actually offer about 400 in-person classes, which is up from about 40 that they offered in the fall. Plus, they say they'll offer 2,500 additional single occupancy resident hall spaces. And MSU is also going to be canceling spring break with classes ending on April 23rd and then obviously finals week a week earlier. Glad they're back. Yeah.